What is the point of the Catholic Formation Track? To cultivate well-formed and thoughtful students who understand the intellectual Catholic tradition and who can joyfully and fearlessly enter into the midst of secular culture. And they can see what is beautiful, true, and good, and breathe and blow on these sparks to produce a beautiful flame. Here are the 11 courses. Introduction to Fiction in a Catholic Context. This course explores the question, what is Catholic fiction? By reading the likes of Evelyn Waugh, Graham Greene, Shusaku Endo, and others, students will probe this question and look into how fiction forms us and shapes our narrative. Poetry and Drama in a Catholic Context. This course explores the various performances through uh, different time periods and places. Furthermore, this course will look at how to read texts charitably, to take into consideration their time period, uh, the language they were written in, the, the context, and not to try and pull it out to mean something different, not to force it into the zeitgeist. I would maintain as a theologian that there's a close correlation between theology and literature that is both are opening us to the other. In the words of C.S. Lewis, in reading great literature, I become a thousand men and yet remain myself. The quote continues and he says, as in worship, in love, in moral action, and in knowing, I transcend myself and am never more myself than when I do. The following three courses, The Coherence of Faith, Sacred Scripture, and Doctrine and Disciplines, form a triptych. While the first course concerns faith-seeking understanding, the latter two concern the way in which the revelation of Jesus Christ is transmitted. The Coherence of Faith is centered on the theology of Joseph Ratzinger. It explores the cogency and beauty of faith. Turning to the Apostles' Creed, it unpacks its meaning and its significance. Here students discover how Catholicism is the way or the path to human flourishing. Sacred Scripture introduces students to salvation history as presented to us in the Bible. Students will grapple with this complex and diverse library of prayer and discover St. Augustine's dictum. The new is in the old concealed. The old is in the new revealed. Doctrines and Disciplines explores the teachings of the Catholic Church through the Catechism of the Catholic Church. Students will jump deep into this pool and learn about their faith. Vatican I to today examines how the Church engages with contemporary culture through her social encyclicals. The Church is not a static idea, but a living reality that is perennially relevant. The Catholic Church, past and present, explores the history of the Catholic Church, from ecumenical councils to the Protestant Reformation, um, Trent, Vatican II, up to the very present. History has always been an important aspect of how Catholics think. For example, St. John Henry Newman famously quipped, to be deep in history is to cease to be Protestant. Liturgy and Sacrament introduces students to the great embodied mysteries of the Church. The Church Fathers referred to liturgy as divine pedagogy. The noted liturgist David Fagerberg has a wonderful quote, which is as follows. Liturgy is a rehearsal on a sacred stage for our performance of the mystery in the profane world. According to Lumen Gentium, the Eucharist is the source and the summit of the Christian life. This course will explore what this means. What does it mean to look at the world through sacramental lenses? Beauty and the Sacred is a course that highlights CPC's interest in the beautiful. Hans Urs von Balthasar writes, Every experience of beauty points toward the infinite. This course explores the relation between beauty and the sacred particularly through cultural artifacts such as architecture, art, film, music, and so forth. Virtue Ethics looks at the nature and acquisition of virtue, inspiring the students toward a good life. Introduction to Latin is exactly what the title says it is, an introduction to Latin. But why Latin? Well, Latin forms much of the backdrop of our terminology in English, especially for theology, philosophy, science, medicine, and law. Not to mention it is the historic language of the Roman Catholic Church 
and forms much of our Western culture.